Make a call. Place a call to James at extension 3330. Follow the prompts to make a call. Dial James extension 3330. You have successfully placed a call to James. Answer a call. Follow the prompt to answer the call. Press the prime line or the speaker key to answer the call. You have successfully answered a call. Speed call. You call Tanya in the New York office daily. To save time, you have programmed a speed call key with Tanya's number. Follow the prompts to call Tanya. Press the programmable key labeled Tanya. When you have completed the call, press the speaker key. You have successfully used a speed call key. Hold. While you are talking to Maria, your boss comes to your office. You put Maria on hold while you have a brief conversation with your boss. After your boss leaves, retrieve Maria from hold and continue your conversation. Follow the prompts to place a call on hold and then retrieve it. Press the hold key. Press the prime line key to retrieve the call. You have successfully placed the call on hold and retrieved it. Transfer. You have answered a call from Paul. After you finish talking, Paul asks you to transfer him to Kevin at extension 3224. Follow the prompts to transfer the call. Press the transfer conference key. Dial Kevin's extension 3224. Press the release key to complete the transfer. The call has now been transferred to Kevin. Conference. While you are talking to Paul, you decide that you need to include Maria in the call. Follow the prompts to include Maria at extension 3235 in a three-party conference call. Press the transfer conference key. Dial Maria's extension 3235. Press the transfer conference key. You have successfully set up a three-party conference call with Paul and Maria. Call forward always. You are going on vacation and while you are away, you want all your calls routed immediately to voicemail. Follow the prompts to program call forward always. Press the super key to start programming. Press no. Press yes. Press review. Press program. Dial 8200, the voicemail pilot number in this example. Press save. Press change. Press turn on to enable call forward always. Press the super key to exit. You have successfully programmed and enabled call forward always. Call forward busy. When you are on the phone, 
you want all your internal calls routed to voicemail. Follow the prompts to program call forward busy internal. Press the super key to start programming. Press no. Press yes. Press next. Press review. Press program. Dial 8200, the voicemail pilot number in this example. Press save. Press change. Press turn on to enable call forward busy internal. Press the super key to exit. You have successfully programmed and enabled Call Forward Busy Internal. Call Forward No Answer. When you are away from your desk, you want all your internal calls routed to voicemail. Follow the prompts to program Call Forward No Answer Internal. Press the super key to start programming. Press no. Press yes. Press next. Press next again. Press next again. Press review. Press program. Dial 8200, the voicemail pilot number in this example. Press Save. Press Change. Press Turn On to enable Call Forward No Answer Internal. Press the Super Key to exit. You have successfully programmed and enabled Call Forward No Answer Internal. Voicemail Message. You return to your desk and notice the message indicator is flashing slowly and the display shows messages. This indicates you have a call me back and or a voicemail message. Follow the prompts to retrieve a voicemail call me back message from the voicemail system. For example, 8200. Press the message key. Press Yes. Press Call to reach the voicemail system. You have successfully connected to the voicemail system. Leave a Call Me Back message. If the message key is lit when you call another extension, you can leave a Call Me Back message instead of a voicemail message. Follow the prompts to leave a call me back message. Dial Kevin's extension 3212. Press the message key while it is lit. Press the speaker key to hang up. You have successfully left a call me back message to an extension. Retrieve a call me back message. You return to your desk and notice the message indicator is flashing slowly and the display shows messages. This indicates you have a call me back message. Follow the prompts to retrieve a call me back message. Press the message key. Press yes. To get more information about the caller, press more. Press more again. Press call. You have successfully retrieved the call me back message. Call Park. You receive a call from Tanya. She needs some information which you must retrieve from the file room. Follow the prompts to park Tanya's call. Press the speaker key to answer the call. Press the call park key. 
you have successfully parked a call. Take note of the extension number where the call is parked and the parking slot number. Parked at 3224, parking slot number 12. Call Park Retrieve. Follow the prompts to retrieve the parked call from the file room phone. Press the Call Park Retrieve key. Dial the extension number where the call is parked. 3224. Dial the parking slot number 12. Press the speaker key to complete the call. You have successfully parked a call and retrieved it from another phone. Call pickup in pickup group. Maria asks you to pick up her calls while she steps away from her desk for a few minutes. Follow the prompts to answer Maria's phone. Press the call pickup key. You have successfully answered a call to a phone in your call pickup group. Call pickup. Not in pickup group. Kevin's phone keeps ringing. Follow the prompts to answer a call ringing at an extension that is not in your call pickup group. Dial star star 6 and 3212, the directed call pickup access code in this example, and Kevin's extension number. You have successfully answered a call that did not originate in your call pickup group. Do not disturb. You are having a meeting in your office and do not want to be disturbed by your phone ringing. Follow the prompts to enable and disable Do Not Disturb. Press the Do Not Disturb key. The light indicates that the Do Not Disturb key is active. When someone calls your number, they will hear reorder tone, and if they are internal, their display will show Do Not Disturb. To disable Do Not Disturb, press the key again. The light goes out. You have successfully enabled and disabled Do Not Disturb. Direct Page You need to talk to Kevin who is somewhere in the warehouse instead of at his desk. Follow the prompts to place a direct page to James McLeod's phone in the warehouse. Press the direct page key. Dial the warehouse phone number 3330. When you have finished speaking, press the speaker key to end your direct page. You have successfully placed a direct page to a phone in the warehouse. Program Personal Keys You can program features on your phone's personal keys. In this example, you will learn how to program a call pickup key from the phone. To program other feature keys, Follow the same steps outlined in this example. Follow the prompts to learn how to program a personal key as a call pickup feature key. Press the super key to start programming. Press an unused personal key. Press change. Press no. Press the no soft key until call pickup appears. Press yes. Press the super key to exit programming. You have successfully programmed a call pickup key. Program a speed call key. Follow the prompts to program a speed call key for Tanya in New York. Press the super key to start programming. Press an unused personal key. Press change.
Press yes. Enter Tanya's number, 91917-765-4321. Press save. Press the super key to exit. You have successfully programmed a speed call key for Tanya.